Hey everybody, Kevin Machado with your monthly market update as we're looking at our St. Albert, Edmonton, Shirt Park, surrounding area uh, market. And just a few things to keep uh, in mentioning of you. Number one, go Oilers. Big series going on right now. So obviously we're cheering for our team and um, hopefully you've made the right choice and you've chosen the Oilers to cheer for as well. I assume so if you are watching this video and we're friends. Um, secondly, uh, really interestingly enough, again, I'm, I'm just a, a, a result of all the people that I, I spend time with that I'm fortunate enough to, to help out and help buy or sell a property. And uh, I just find myself so incredibly blessed and, and fortunate to be able to, to be surrounded by so many wonderful people. And and from that, I, I got to note that last month was one of the top 100 Remax agents in Western Canada. And, and that's all because of you. That's not because of me. I'm just some goofy guy wearing an Oilers jersey and, and trying to help as many people as I can. But again, thank you so much for all your support and help and and the ability to, to help us, help me get where I am and uh, to just continue to help more and more people. So your referrals, they mean so, so much to me. And, and hopefully we're able to give you guys uh, great service and that ends up with good reviews and the cycle just keeps going. So again, thank you so much for your support and your help out. Um, now, let's jump into our market here and let's see how things are coming along. So obviously things have been crazy, bananas even, right? So we've seen our prices come up uh, last month, our last report, we were talking about how we had breached that $500,000 mark for the average single family property in the Edmonton surrounding area for the first time. And that has continued to go up. So now we're at $511,000 for the average single family price. And this is looking at the stats back from April. And so we're a month back, that's how our stats will work. Um, but we're looking at those stats and we see, okay, we're at $511,000 for our average single family price. Um, so that is up 11% uh, uh, year over year. Um, and then just under 2% month over month, so 1.4%. Now, when we're looking at our condos, we had a good month last, uh, with the previous, report we had a good month there where our condo prices shot up and what I believe that was the case of was just more about uh, some higher price properties selling and so now our average condo price is down to $237,000 which is still good it's still up nearly 4% year over year but we did pull down about 3% um, month over month. And then our, our detached properties, you know, duplexes, townhomes, our average price is at $409,000, which is, I mean, that's nearly 17% up year over year. And um, our days on market, we're down to 20, we're down to 23 days on market. Uh, and so we're spending less time on market. So prices are going up less time on market, um, our sales. So this is gonna be an interesting thing. We saw an incredible increase in sales when we looked back into March's stats. Um, our sales, we're still up this year, uh, this month, we're up 2% year over year. So our sales are still strong, but from that previous month where it was crazy, we were talking about interest rates that were rising, people were jumping in there, we're down about 10% from the previous month. So does that mean, oh my goodness, 10%, all of a sudden the market's falling out, no one's gonna come and buy houses, it's, it's going to totally change change? I don't believe so. I believe we still are seeing a really strong market. We're at 2.2 months of inventory, which is still, uh, that, that's a seller's market. And as you look across Canada, we're beginning to see signs of markets like in Ontario and BC. They're starting to see some cooling off periods where before they would see properties go for sale, they would go up and they would sell like a couple hundred thousand dollars over list, unconditional offers, every 20 people knocking on the door. And now they're seeing things shift a little bit. And Keep in mind, those markets, they've seen over 40% increases in the last couple years. We here are looking at about 10, 11% increases. We have not seen the increases they have. The average single family price, again, remember is $800,000 across Canada, and we're at just over 500. There's incredible value here. As I mentioned before, we're getting continually people that are moving into our province. The interprovincial growth is happening here. We're getting people that are buying properties and they're moving into our province because we've got a high average income here and, and, our, and our taxes are lower and our property prices are lower. So we're seeing that influx here and our market right now is actually one of the strongest in all of Canada. And we haven't been able to say that for a very long time. So there's a lot of really great things happening. We do want to 
always watch the market. So we're going to continue to monitor how things are going. We expect there's going to be another interest rate increase here in June from the Bank of Canada that'll probably push that interest rate about half a point to 0.5% up potentially. So we'll watch how things go there. But our market right now for sellers, it's still a very good market. We're seeing multiple offers on properties. We're seeing properties get over list price. Um, and buyers, it's you're, you're getting a little bit of a breather from the month previous where it was they would come up and in 15 minutes that was gone and it sold for $40,000 over. Right now, you're going to see a little bit more properties. Properties might spend a little bit more time on market, but they're still very competitive. So make sure you're pre-approved. Make sure you've got your team around you and uh, make sure that if you've got any questions, you're always reaching out and I'm happy to help you however I can. So I hope this market information is helpful for you. Our market is trending upward. We're seeing good things happen and we're gonna keep our eye on one of the strongest markets in all of Canada. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you have a great week and go Oilers. Bye-bye.